dressing in women's clothes all the time. My second violence against all women began when I began to transform my body to trespass on the category of women. I utilized patriarchal tools, the dark magic of medical science transformed me into a more acceptable version of femininity. I sought the help of voice coaches, endocrinologists, and therapists, as well as plastic surgeons. The full weight of patriarchy rested on my final identity of flaws and masculine ideas of what a woman should be. My third violence began when I sought to rape women's face with my presence. Arriving as a wolf in sheep's clothing, I pleaded to shelter from the abuse of my fellow men. I distracted everyone from issues facing real women. I deceived women into accepting me as a female by aping their mannerisms with an awful artistry. I learned from drag, the creation of gay men to humiliate women. As an infiltrator, I gradually usurped a uniquely female energy and used it for my own gain and lust for power. I placed myself in leadership roles and steered their politics towards affirming my own narcissism. When feminists questioned me in my invasion of faith, I did not quietly withdraw. I, I did not quietly withdraw as I should have. Instead, I sought to impugn their credentials as feminists, claim that me and my cross-dresser buddies were the only real feminists. I discovered by feminism the work of collaborators with patriarchy, working with heterosexual women to bolster my illegitimate claims on women's faith. I slander the feminist, the woman or the true feminist, with a hateful label to gender, which means to cut women, to mutilate women as I mutilate myself with medically licensed genital mutilation, sexual reassignment. Through my special mutilations, I gained my own personal harem of two lesbians, believing I was capable of loving them. Many of them were brainwashed by Planned Parenthood into believing that it was their duty to be penetrated by male to constructed female males. But I was only aroused by my own image in the mirror and simply used them as an intermediary getting off with myself. My desire was an endless circle of desire where I united with my patriarchal double of women, I sh of the woman I should be and thought other women should be as well. I know it is too late for any atonement for the violences I committed against womanhood as well as the violence committed by existing as the person I currently am. All I can hope is that by offering myself as a negative example, a negative example of transsexual men to see in violence, I go more and radically align lesbians to avoid contact with them. I hope too that my grotesque appearance will act as a warning to people considering making a similar transition. I see now that my pathology of invasion of violence against women cannot be remedied, so perhaps it's time for a little song. <laughs> Yes. <laughs>